Hey friends, this is Vidhan. Welcome you to my channel. Today we will discuss operational amplifier. In our last video on operational amplifier, we discussed inverter. Inverter for both the cases for open loop and with feedback circuit. Today we will take non-inverter circuit and we will discuss it for both the cases for open loop condition and with feedback circuit. And we will see at some important points on how to take the voltages at the input terminals of the operational amplifier for both the cases open loop and with feedbacks and also the output so let us see the non-inverter circuit for open loop when it is open there is no feedback This is non-inverter that means the input signal goes to non-inverting terminal and positive is the non-inverting terminal. The input can be AC or DC because it has the capability to amplify both AC and DC. But now let us take AC signal. Through a resistor it goes to non-inverting terminal and the inverting terminal is grounded this is also grounded and this through a load register goes to ground V0 and obviously the open is biased otherwise it cannot work And the ideal gain is A. The gain of the operational amplifier is always the A, a huge gain when there is no feedback circuit. Then the gain if you are asked about then you will always say that A is the gain. That is a huge amount for 741C chip it is 10 to the power 5. But when it is feedback circuit, then the gain, this is not the gain. The gain happens to be different. Okay. Now, the question is that if the input voltage is V in, what is the voltage at this point, at the non-inverting point, and what is the voltage at inverting input point? These are the important things when it is open loop circuit let me tell you directly that the voltage at this point will be v in this voltage is same as the given voltage and the voltage at this point is zero that means here you don't have to suppose anything like that if the voltage is v in at this point then at this point also the voltage will be v in they will be same no it is not going to happen when it is open loop that means when there is no feedback circuit that means from the output there is no circuit that goes to input so when it is open loop then the voltages are different it may be different if I give two voltages and same voltages then they could be same but since it is V in at the, this point it is V in since it is grounded so at this point also it will be grounded that means no virtual grounding concept is coming okay and what is the output the output is simply a into b input for inverter what was the output it was minus a v input now it is plus a v input because the input signal is given to the positive terminal that means non-inverting terminal so this is it and why the voltage at this point is same as the voltage given here and why there is no voltage drop across this register this is because of the reason that the there are actually two registers in this circuit if we suppose this is a circuit then here there is a very huge resistance here is a register and this is a register and these registers are in series 
and they are in closed condition that means they are making a voltage divider circuit so it is like that suppose this is 1k that means this resistor is this one and here in series a very huge resistance suppose 1 mega ohm this is 1 kilo ohm and they have been given a signal suppose the signal is 10 volt I am using DC signal but it doesn't matter it's the amount of signal that matters suppose it is I give it 10 volt now what is the voltage drop across this register and what is the voltage drop across this register so let me see that the voltage drop across this register is from the standard voltage drop formula the voltage drop across 1 mega ohm is equal to the EMF that means 10 volt multiplied by the register that I want to find the voltage drop across that means 10 to the power 6 by all the registers added that means equivalent resistance that is 10 to the power 3 plus 10 to the power 6 and this is 10 into 10 to the power 6 by let us take 10 to the power 3 as common that means 1 plus 10 to the power 3 so this 10 to the power 3 cancel it to make 3 that means 10 into 10 to the power 3 by 1 plus 10 to the power 3 now if you calculate this you will find 9.99 that means equivalent to 0 sorry equivalent to 10 there are two registers but the 10 volt it seems that the whole 10 volt is being dropped by this register itself by this register alone but what we know that the voltage that we provide must drop across the circuit but this will be dropped in the shared manner but now I see when one is very huge resistance and the other is very lower resistance then the voltage drop across this is equivalent to almost the given EMF and what is the voltage drop across this it is let us say voltage drop across 1 kilo ohm is equal to EMF times 10 to the power 3 this resistance by all the resistances added 10 to the power 3 plus 10 to the power 6 10 into 10 to the power 3 by 10 to the power 3 let us take as common 1 plus 10 to the power 3 10 into 1 by 1 plus 10 to the power 3 ok now so I also could neglect here 1 if I neglect here 1 then what will happen if I neglect one here then I will get 10 and here I neglect here one but actually if I don't neglect one then the calculation gives me 9.99 and here I have not neglected it but here let us neglect it one so it will give us 10 into 1 by 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 2 that means point 1.01 1 by 10 to the power 2 that is 0 0.01 so you can see that the voltage drop across this register is just 0 0.01 volt whereas the voltage drop across this is 0 0.9.99 that means I can say that the voltage at this point is 10 volt and there is no voltage drop actually there is a voltage drop of this much but this is negligible so I will say there is no voltage drop across this so at this point also there is 10 volt and this terminal is being fed to the 
पॉजिटिव ऑफ द ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर एंड दिस इज वॉट इट हैपन्स यर दिस इज वी इनपुट एंड दिस इज अ लोअर रजिस्टर एंड दिस इज वेरी हाई रजिस्टेंस एंड दे आर मेकिंग अ फीडबैक सर्किट सॉरी दे आर मेकिंग अ वोल्टेज डिवाइडर सर्किट सो द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस दिस इज वेरी लेस नेग्लिजिबल सो एट दिस पॉइंट द वोल्टेज इज सेम टू द वोल्टेज हियर सो दस बी से दिस हैपन्स ओके सो दिस वॉज द कंसेप्ट अबाउट इनपुट वोल्टेज एंड द आउटपुट वोल्टेज एंड द आउटपुट इज सिंपली ए इन टू वी इन बट वेन इट इज फीडबैक सर्किट देन वॉट हैपन्स यू हैव टू सेट वेरी केयरफुली पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव द इनपुट सिग्नल इज अगेन द सेम थ्रू अ रजिस्टर इट गोज टू इनपुट टर्मिनल and it is grounded but in the inverting terminal what we do now we give a register before the operational amplifier and we give a feedback from a output through a register this is the concept we use two additional registers when we use feedback circuit this is rf feedback resistance and this is r1 we put it before the operational amplifier and finally it is grounded and it is also through a load register grounded so this has become now the non inverter circuit because the input signal is going to non inverting terminal so this is now the non inverting circuit or the non inverter with feedback circuit but also there is a register here we put now what is the voltage concept the voltage concept is that at this point the voltage is now suppose it is again v in at this point again it will be what it will be v in remember this it happens okay and what is the voltage at this point at this point or at this point whatever you say now the voltage at this point will be it will be not zero it will be v in remember why the voltage at the positive terminal happens to be the voltage of the negative terminal when there is a feedback circuit feedback circuit works in such a way that it wants to make the voltage at the negative terminal equal to whatever is the voltage in the positive terminal so this is the concept and actually this comes from the virtual grounding it is not actually really virtual it is not really grounding because if this point is 0 volt then this point will be 0 volt when a feedback resistance is there then we could say it is it is clearly virtual grounding but when it is v in it will also be v in so it is not zero it doesn't mean that it is not virtual grounding it is the same concept whatever is the voltage here the voltage will be here also if it is zero it will be zero that is called actual virtual grounding but now it is v in it will also be v in so this is again a kind of virtual grounding so you have to remember and if you use this concept here and after this concept we use and we use the kcl law kirchhoff's current law at this point and there are many videos that will show you that when we use kirchhoff's current law at this point and at this point the voltage is v input then the output becomes 1 plus rf by r1 into v in v input this becomes now the new gain is this this is the new gain and this is this gain depends on rf and r1 if we choose rf and r1 in a manner then we could we could choose we could make it 10 we could make the gain to be 20 we could make it 30 it matters that what the value of rf and r1 we have chosen is that fine so this is the output voltage formula for non inverter circuit in feedback so this is what from non inverter circuit in next video we will see a differential circuit and then we will have 
फोर टू फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स दोज हैव कम इन सी एस आई नेट फिजिक्स प्रॉब्लम सी एस आई नेट फिजिक्स एग्जाम एंड वी विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व यूजिंग दिस कंसेप्ट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इन्वर्टर नॉन इन्वर्टर एंड डिफरेंशियल एम्पलीफायर वट वी विल डू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू